Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today we're going to make vegan moringa farfalle. So it's another pasta making video and it's got two parts to it and the fact that it's, I'm going to give you a vegan dough. And the eggless pasta dough is more common in southern parts of Italy. And they use typically just water and semolina flour or semola. And I'm using semola, which is, I just recently found out, there is actually a difference between semola and semolina. And that is one, the semola is ground finer than the semolina. So it makes a little bit better pasta that way. So I'm glad I got the semola flour. And so what I'm going to be doing is a blend of the semola and my own home ground uh, organic whole white wheat flour since I'm using a smaller ratio. I'm going to be using a much larger ratio of the semola to the flour, to the regular wheat flour than I did in my last pasta making video. And you can keep playing with the ratios and find out which one works best for you. Today I'm going to try three parts to one part with the flour. So let's get started. Here is my semola flour. And I'm going to be doing three quarter cups of that. I'm putting it right on my cutting board. Okay. And then one quarter cup of my white, whole white wheat flour. This is again fresh ground this morning. I'm going to leave that open because I'm going to need some flour for sprinkling around. I'm going to make a nice wide well in here like I did in my previous video. But instead of pouring egg in there, we're just simply going to use water. I want to add a little moringa to this. This is going to give it a little light olive green color and a little bit of health benefits of getting that moringa in there. Now, I don't suggest going anywhere over for a whole cup of flour going more than a tablespoon of this. Okay, and so then what you're going to do, and it might be easiest to use a fork to start with. Fine, for stuff like this, a salad fork is just a really good size. Okay, and then I'm going to start pouring my water in here. Just pour it in a tablespoon at a time, approximately. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of some avocado oil. You can also use grapeseed or olive oil. So really, you only need water and flour to make noodles. I'm going to be sticking more to the egg noodles. I think they just have a better, they hold together better. But for those who are vegan, this is why I'm doing that. Or you can't have eggs because maybe you're allergic to them, this is just another way you can do it. And it is a common way to do it. But since we get a lot, a lot of eggs here too, that's another reason why I prefer to use the eggs in my noodles. So I'm just going to keep adding a little bit of water to that and pulling it together. And keep in mind that your semola or semolina flour is going to absorb more liquid and so you're going to need a little bit more water than you would with your with like using just a plain white flour okay this is just about getting to the desired consistency you just want to keep sort of pulling it together you know with the eggs i know exactly how much i'm using i typically am just going to put in two eggs and no water uh, oil is an option, it doesn't need to be, but I think if you're leaving eggs out, I think it's a good idea to put oil in it, just to get, I just think you're going to get a better noodle, that's my personal opinion. Okay, let me roll this up one more time, it's kind of getting in my way. You might remember these are the sleeves that I modified. If you're interested in learning how to modify your, your long sleeves, button cuff sleeves, for making it easy to roll up and to hold in place. I'll go ahead and link to that video right up here. Okay, so then you're just gonna knead your dough. This is a really good consistency. I've got plenty of water in here. So I'd say I used about a half cup of water for one cup of flour because I'm pretty sure I had that cup 
half full. I didn't quite use it all. Because I couldn't remember how much water I used last time. I couldn't remember if it was a quarter cup or more because I'm just kind of creating these recipes as I go based on what I know basically of different uh, types of doughs. Now you see this nice light olive green color or sage green. Just makes a real pretty color. And I've got more of these coming up of different ways, that, healthy ways that you can color your noodles uh, using diff diff different things that you might have on hand already. We have moringa powder on hand, so that's what I'm using here. Okay, and then you might need to flour a little bit. Keep kneading that dough, just like you would bread dough, or, well, similar to how you'd knead bread dough. Okay, and then, when it gets to a certain point, I find it best to use up to a half of this much dough at a time, or even a quarter. So you might want to break it into quarters, which is what I'm going to recommend in this case. Okay, and so now what I want to do is I want to roll it through my pasta maker. And so what you're doing is you're just getting your dough nice and f nice and flat. And I do find it is best to just keep folding that dough the first several times. And you may need to sprinkle a little flour on there, fold it. Usually I'll fold it over a couple times like that. And this is on the one setting. So this particular uh, Marcato Atlas uh, pasta maker is all stainless steel. And what I didn't realize in my last video when I linked to the pasta maker below is the one I linked to. I was picking one that was the lowest cost because I found mine for $3 at a garage sale. I don't think it had ever been used. But the one that I linked to I found out was uh, chrome, chrome plated. So you may want to look... Uh, I think the ones that are stainless steel are going to be up over a hundred dollars. But if you can't find it, I say keep shopping garage sales. And if you can't find it at a garage sale, I still think it's worth the expense, at least to have the laminator. But it is super nice having the fettuccine and spaghetti noodle option. Though there, I I learned of an easy way to make fettuccine noodles without having to have a cutter. So even if you get just this part without this part, because this part alone is like 50 bucks, um, there is a way to do fettuccine noodles really easy with no, no special cutters involved. Okay, now that I'm to this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start raising it up one notch at a time. You only wanna go one notch at a time when you're rolling it. Don't go any more than that. So I go from one to two, now I'm on three. You can roll it through a couple times on each, which is which is recommended, by the way. But for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and go a lot quicker. This is just coming together beautifully. So eggs really aren't necessary for making good noodles. I made some the other day using, using the Moringa, and they turned out really good. But I do find just a little bit difference in the consistency. I'm currently on number five on my setting, and I find for the, if I'm going to make flat noodles or sh or uh, the like the farfalle, I find going to a, the six is a better, is best. If I'm making spaghetti, I, I leave it at five. If I'm making fettuccine noodles, I like to go to six as well. Okay. So now I've got my dough in this long strip. I don't need it that long. I'm cut that in half, set that one aside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fluted little cutter right here, and I'll link to this below. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this, right, this strip right down the center because I want these about one inch wide at the most. And then you can cut your edges. Farfalle means butterfly, or butterflies, that's plural, in Italian. So single would be farfalla. Then you're going to cut just nice, even rectangles 
like so. And you may need to throw a little more flour on there because my dough is still just a little bit on the sticky side. We'll go ahead and get a little flour on there, but not too much because you're going to need your dough to stick together. Because what you're going to do is you're going to grab each piece like this and you're going to kind of fold it and then fold. you're going to fold it in the center and then you're going to fold the outside edges back and then just pinch it. Okay. And then there's one. And it is a time consuming process doing these by hand, but it's part of the art of pasta making. Now, if I'm, you know, limited on time, I'm not going to be doing this. But I thought it would be fun for the dinner I'm making tonight to go ahead and make some farfalle or the bow ties as they're often called. I'm going to be making a salmon pasta casserole. And then if you have some pieces that are cut kind of funny, you don't like the, you know, you don't feel like the shape, like this is kind of a skinny one here, you can just ball it up, put it back in a, in a ball of dough here, and then just roll it out again. Typically what I'll do with the rest, if I just get tired of making stuff by hand, is then I'll just make fettuccine noodles because it's easy and it's quick. Okay, so I just keep pinching, folding, fold, pinch. Okay, and then after I do these last two, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. So if you do not have the fluted cutter, you can still make these noodles. They're just called something different. So I'm going to roll out some more dough, and you don't need to watch all that. I'll go ahead and skip over that part. And then we'll get to, I'll show you the next one, which is strachetti. Okay, now if you don't have a fluted cutter and you want to make these, then you just make strachetti. It's still bow tie pasta, but you're using a straight cutter like this, like my pizza cutter here, or a bicicletta. And just do the same thing. And just fold them over and as you can see none of mine are turning out perfectly the same in shape and size but hey it's like anything handmade and of course the more you practice the faster you'll get at it and the better you'll get at it so you want your you want your pasta to not be too dry or it won't the it won't stick together but if it's too wet, it will stick to your fingers and pull apart when you try to um, lay it down there. I'm actually having an easier time with this one than I did with those. I, that was just a little bit too sticky. So really, uh, you know, you can still get a really nice shape, a really nice bow tie shape without having the uh, fluted edges. The fluted edges are what, what makes it more like a butterfly. But... You know, to me, they do look more like bow ties than butterflies. But traditionally, the farfalle, butterfly, and then the straight ones without the fluted edges is strachetti. And then one thing I wanted to say before I finish up is when it comes to your noodles, your shaped noodles like your farfalle, you really want to let these dry for a few hours. They don't have to be dry like hard all the way through. But let them dry at least some, you know, a couple hours. You'll kind of see them turn a little bit lighter color on the surface. They will hold together much better when you go to cook them. Now, you can cook your noodles, and I forgot to say this in my previous video. You can cook them fresh out of your pasta maker. After you got them all cut, you can put them right in your water and cook them up. They're going to cook up a little bit faster. What I have found is that for a better finished product when it comes to the cooked noodle is to let them dry all the way through. Though yes, it's going to take a little bit longer to cook them and yes, they can get very brittle when drying. But once they're finished cooking, they seem to hold together better and have a better texture. Whereas the ones that if you put straight in the water and cook them, they kind of have a tendency to be a little bit on the more mushy side. They're still very good, but they can fall apart easier. So it is best to let them dry uh, at least halfway before you cook them. You're just going to get a better result. 
and on top of that, if you let them dry, you can use your, like for your spaghetti and your fettuccine noodles, you can use the pasta drying rack. And Mr. Rain does make these. He has a video on how we made them. If you're into woodworking and you want to know how to make one yourself, um, I'll go ahead and link to that video right up here. But also he's selling these on an Etsy store if you're interested in buying one. Um, they are very handy for long noodles like your fettuccine and your spaghetti. Now for the uh, no noodles like this, you can either put them on your in your dehydrator. I've done this. I put them in an electric dehydrator and they dry up really fast. Or you can just leave them out like this, which is probably what I'm going to do with these, is just lay them maybe on my other cutting board and then let them air dry for a couple hours. But putting them in your electric dehydrator is going to shorten the time incredibly. And then if you want to put them away for long-term storage, you can you put them in a jar like the Fido jar with a good tight, uh, the rubber gasket, good tight fitting lid. Or better yet, you can vacuum seal them into a canning jar and they will last up to two years on the shelf, at, at least. I would guess longer, but you gotta consider if you're using eggs in the pasta, I would say keep it in the, keep it in the one year range, try to use them up within one year. Uh, but the eggless ones I think would last a lot longer as far as shelf life goes. So anyway, I will finish these up and be watching for future videos on pasta making, including how to make black noodles, orange noodles, and a dark green noodles, and so on. And I am trying to work on a gluten-free one for those who are looking for a good gluten-free recipe. And um, just give me time on that because we are not gluten-free, but I do still like developing recipes for those who need them. Before I close this off, let me show you a close-up of the noodles. Get it in the light. And that's how they look. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Thanks for watching, take care, and God bless.